What's up guys, my name is Joe and today is the day. It's taken months of talking myself into it, a good three times a day, hyping myself up in the mirror, but we're here. It's time to tame these sides and try something new. This is the Blue Mon version of the mullet. Really, the final result is more of a refined take. It's a mullet, but with a low fade at the sides to provide a nice transition into the top. Now, even though it's a more refined take, it's definitely something on the more edgy side. And to say it how it is, I'm actually really into it. I'm back at All Hail in downtown LA with a dude who's become a really good friend over the last year or so. Not only that, he's got an insane amount of talent, and that is, of course, my boy Byron. You can check out his work in the description down below and potentially even book an appointment if you can find an available slot. And I promise you, it'll be worth it. Now, while we get started with the cut, I wanna take this opportunity to update you guys with how my own salon venture is going. Y'all may remember, but a Hans de Fuco X Blue Mon Salon is in the works, and one thing that I can tell you for sure, opening a business with a physical retail element is a painfully slow process. That said, we've officially got our building, and I should be able to reveal the space to you guys in the very near future. It's actually an awesome space and I can't wait to show you guys what we've been working on. So make sure that you stay tuned. Updates are coming soon. Back to the cut. Byron is starting off by taking out some bulk. I wish I could specify exactly what's going on, but he switches between different techniques and all sorts of stuff that I haven't really seen before. I think the visual will paint the best picture. But a lot of what Byron is doing aims to, of course, shorten the length, but also add really nice texture and natural flow to the finished result. At this point, we've done enough wet cutting and Byron is going in with a little bit of original as a pre-styler to set the foundation before continuing the cut on dry hair. We're using the blow dryer to get the hair in the general right styling position and this is simply going to provide Byron with a visual aid on how to approach the rest of the cut. This, ladies and gentlemen, is where things start to get real exciting. As I mentioned, we're taking a slightly modest approach to the mullet today by going with a low fade. A low fade is basically just what it sounds like. It's a fade starting from the bottom, but tapering out much lower than a typical fade would. This allows for a more gradual transition between the sides and the top, and really, it's just personal preference. I felt this was a good way to dabble into mullet territory without going for the extreme, and I think that it really paid off. With the fade starting to take place, it's all about making sure that it blends in real nice to the more grown out sections of the sides. Once again, Byron is doing a million different things to make the overall style come together. I might not know half the stuff that's going on here. All I know is that it's working. When it comes to the back, I mean, it ain't a mullet if you mess with the length too much, am I right? So the focus here, again, is texture, texture, texture. The hair at the back is what makes a mullet a mullet, so might as well make it look the best that it can. A little bit of Mason's texture powder to emphasize the beachy vibes in the back. I mean, that is where the party is at the end of the day. 
some hair oil for a little control. And the finished result guaranteed to turn some heads. Guys, this is the low fade mullet. A real first for me and something that I think fits really well with my hairstyling evolution. I'm honestly so happy with how it turned out, but it's time to hear from y'all. Are you like me? You kind of surprised by how good this looks? Or is the mullet territory still something that you're trying to stay clear of? Any and all thoughts, I'd love to hear it down below. Like always, thank you guys for tuning in.